it's me again and today I'm going to be doing a review of The Nude by Jessie Burton. As I've mentioned before in one of my previous videos, this is one of my favourite book covers. It's so pretty and there's red pages and a little bookmark. Actually, who did the illustrations? Lisa Perrin. Lisa Perrin did the jacket illustrations and she deserves some credit because oh my god it is beautiful. Now The Muse is Jessie Burton's second novel. Again it is an historic novel. It follows two people, one in 1967 and that is Adele and another in 1936 and that is Olivia. Now it starts with Adele. She is a typist for I believe an art dealer or it's something to do with art. And a gentleman brings in a painting that no one's ever seen before. Um, it shocks people and no one's quite sure how he came across it. People believe it was probably stolen during the Nazi war when the Nazis were stealing and burning art, but people aren't so sure. And then in 1936, we find out about the painting, who painted it, how it got into the hands of the gentleman who brought it in in the future. One thing I like about Jesse Burton books are the characters. Adele and Olivia are two very good, strong female characters. They are quite different, but again, you do see the symmetry. Adele wants to be a published writer and Olivia wants to be a renowned artist. Both of them can't do what they want because they are females and they're not taken seriously. Olivia's father is an art dealer but like I said he doesn't take her seriously because she's a female. But in the end they are both forced into the public eye. Olivia, her painting just suddenly appears when she's meant to be revealing a painting of herself and her mother. With Adele, her writing just suddenly gets put into a paper so other people can read it. Now one thing I like about this book is that it keeps you guessing. I had no idea what was happening. Um, there's a character in there who you might think is from the past. I had no idea who it was. I was thinking, oh, is he related to this person? Um, but in the end, it's all explained, which is good. As in the miniaturist, it kind of leaves you guessing and I was scared this would happen in here. But thankfully, it tells you what's happening. Um, I did figure it out near the end, but it started to become a bit obvious. But that didn't upset me. I was actually quite proud I worked it out and I thought it was such a good twist. Overall, I gave this five stars. This is probably one of the best books I've read this year. Jessie Burton is fastly becoming one of my favourite authors. I can't wait for her next novel and I hope it is an historic novel again because I can't get enough of things based in the past. But I do believe she's now going to write two children's books, which I obviously will read. I don't care if they're for children. If Jessie Burton has written it, I probably will read it. I haven't really seen this mentioned on booktube. I hope I've done the book justice, because people should read it. It all came out at the end of June. Just go to your local bookshop, pick it up, give it a read, and I hope you enjoy it as much as me, because I really did love it. If you're into historic fiction, you should just enjoy it so much. So that's me done for today. I hope to see you again soon. If you've read the news, just comment down below with your thoughts. Again, I'll put my social media links down there where I post a lot more about books, especially my Instagram and Twitter, and there's my Goodreads as well. I hope to see you soon and have fun reading. Bye!